Hey guys, Ernie here and welcome to the Paleo Hiker MD channel. A French press is an awesome way to make a cup of coffee, especially when you're on the go. If you hike much, you're probably trying to put together your kit. You're also trying to make sure it doesn't weigh too much. And you got to make a lot of choices because things can get pretty expensive. Stay tuned and today I'm going to show you guys how to make a super lightweight, simple French press out of some gear you may already have. Or if you're in the market for a cook pot, you might want to get one of these to make it happen. Thanks for watching. Now, of course, you could buy a stainless steel or titanium dedicated French press. No problem with that whatsoever. There are some awesome ones on the market. But I made a pretty cool discovery the other day when I was messing around with some of the gear that I had, and I figured that I could make a French press for less than $10 with several of the pots that I already own. Well, here are three pretty common pots that a lot of people like to use out on the trail. This is the Pathfinder School mug pot made out of stainless steel. This is the Tokes 750 milliliter pot. This is my oldest ultralight pot that I have. This is an aluminum pot by Ollie Camp. Also very popular, very common, and a nice design. There's one thing that all of them have in common. If you get a common size Nalgene, this happens to be a stainless steel Nalgene from the Pathfinder School. Fits right there. Fits right there. And it fits right there. So, what does that mean? This is the French press attachment for the Jetbull Flash system and similar sized Jetbull products. Very simple, it comes apart. You can get that. If you really want to, you can even take this apart and it comes very nice like that. Let's weigh this thing real quick. Whole thing together weighs 23 grams or three quarters of an ounce. Now, Ernie, why are you showing me the jet boil system when we're talking about other pots? Well, that's pretty simple because if you get this Pathfinder school, you can just slide this in and make coffee. If you get this Ollie can, you can just slide this in and make coffee. It creates a very nice seal. And this Toke 750, a very, very popular pot, you slide it in and you can make coffee. The design from Jetboil, as you can see, has little fingers right here, okay? And those allow some flexibility on the size of the pot. Now this is an older model. They have a new model that I think has silicone across the edges. You can still find these. Now I don't know if the silicone model fits as well. It should basically be the same thing I'm going to get one and I'll let you guys know. I went to Academy and uh, the line was ridiculous, so I didn't get one. But I am going to get one. They do cost less than $10 and see if it works as well. But the older ones, if you can get a handle on one, does work. Let's make a little bit of coffee. I'll show you guys how it works. I'm going to try out a new stove I just got. This is the 1012 stove from Trail Designs. Pretty excited to check it out. I bought the whole Caldera Cone kit and this was part of it. But we're going to, we're going to use this bad boy to blow up some water. We're gonna light this bad boy up and then you're gonna see something pretty cool about it. We're just gonna get it going, spilled a little bit there. Get the inside going as well. We'll add some coffee to our hot water. Just kinda of have to decide on how much you want. Five spoonfuls, this isn't the biggest spoon in the world. I'm gonna let this steep for about two, three minutes. Give it a nice little stir and let it steep. In about three minutes, we'll just get our jet bowl press here and slowly start to press it through. Now, I like to have a second cup. I just happen to have one. If you want to drink straight out of here, you can. It's kind of a pain, I'll admit. But again, if you're trying to do something a little bit different and convert things into a French press, otherwise you wouldn't, Pour your coffee. There you go. Now I do want to show y'all, There, like I said, there are some grounds. You can see it. I find that it works best with the Pathfinder stainless steel. I should have used it, but I just want to show you guys that some of this, you will get a couple of grounds. Doesn't bother me in the least, but if it does bother you, then you probably just want to buy a dedicated French press. If you want a little bit of a hack, this is the way to go. Obviously, you have to have one of these pots to utilize this little hack, but if you're looking for a pot, the Toke 750 or the Pathfinder stainless steel are very common pots that a lot of people carry. They also happen, as I said, to fit an algae bottle, and I think most that fit an algae bottle 
just a little loosely, will be able to use this kit from JetBoil to make it into a French press. If you take the JetBoil itself, it'll slide a Nalgene right into it very nicely, so just something to keep in mind. Instead of having a cook pot and a coffee press, why not make them one the same? And this particular coffee press insert for the JetBoil folds away, stows very neatly, and is super lightweight. Not sure if you guys are aware, but I have a full playlist on coffee. I call it Coffee in the Woods. I'll make sure and add this video to it and go check it out because it's got awesome videos about making coffee all over the place from the woods to the trail to hotel rooms, always on the go. Do me a favor, guys. If you like the video, please hit the thumbs up down below. Really helps spread things across YouTube. If you want to make sure you don't miss any videos, hit the subscription button if you're not already subscribed and make sure you click that ding dong bell as well and you'll be notified when I put out new videos. This is my newest kind of quick video that I'm making, trying to put things together very quickly, very informative, and not take too much of your time, but still have a lot of fun doing it. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope you stay tuned for more videos here on Paleo Hiker MD.